The following video will show you how to administer subcutaneous inexoparin injection at home. Inexoparin is prescribed to prevent existing blood clots from worsening or to prevent blood clots from forming. Before you begin, please read your prescription carefully and make sure you know the correct dose you need to inject. Do administer the medication at the right time instructed by the nurse or the pharmacist. How to administer the medication? You would require one piece of alcohol swab, a sharps container for disposing the injection, such as a sharp box or a plastic bottle, and one pre-filled inexoparing injection. Inspect the medication, ensure that the syringe is not damaged, the medication is a clear solution, and that it is not expired. If not, please use another injection. Before you begin, practice proper hand hygiene by washing your hands with soap and water or use a hand sanitizer. Step 1. Hold the syringe and give it a light shake to allow the bubble to collect at the top of the syringe. Do not press on the plunger to remove the air bubble. This can lead to a loss of the medication. However, if your dose is less than the full content of the syringe, Point the injection downwards and inject the extra amount into a container. Step 2. Inspect the injection site. Inspect your skin to make sure that there is no bruising, swelling, hardness or irritation at the area of the injection site. Step 3. Clean the injection site. Clean the selected site with an alcohol swab and let it dry thoroughly before administering the injection. Step 4. Administer the injection. The injection can be given anywhere three fingers on the left or right side of your navel. Use a different injection site each time to lessen the chance of damage to the tissue under the skin. Remove the needle cap and hold the syringe with your dominant hand with your thumb and middle finger like a pencil. Ensure that your index finger is able to reach the plunger. With the other hand, gently pinch the skin with your thumb and index finger and hold it. Insert the needle into the pinched skin at a 90 degree angle and slowly press the plunger with your index finger to inject all the medication. Wait for 5 seconds. Step 5. Remove the needle from the injection site by pulling it straight out. Use an alcohol swab to apply light pressure and gently wipe the injected site. Do not rub the injected site. Lastly, discard the used syringe into a sharps container. When should you seek medical attention? You should seek medical attention when you experience uncontrolled vaginal bleeding, when blood is seen in your urine or stool, when you experience prolonged and uncontrolled bleeding when you get cut, or when you experience sudden headache. If you experience any of the symptoms mentioned or might have further doubts, you may wish to call the ward you were discharged from. The number can be found on the discharge folder. You may also wish to come to KK Gynecological Cancer Centre at Women's Tower Level 1 during office hours or Urgent ONG Centre at Women's Tower Basement 1 after office hours to seek medical attention. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that it has been informative.